Hi there, everyone, and welcome back for uh, episode number 15 of the Chem Valley Show. I'm your host, Aaron Sisson. Uh, we got, it seems like we got things working, so uh, we're going to try things out again. Um, joining me now is my guest, all the way from Victoria, BC, uh, originally from Sarnia, uh, Adam Como. How's it going, Adam? Not too bad, Aaron. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's very good to connect again. Uh, it's been a long time since the station days. We had, I know we had a lot of fun back in those oh, days. Yeah. and. Uh, the old station days, yeah. Some people yeah. Re remember that fondly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you've moved on. And it seems like you're doing some uh, great things in, in the field that you were working back then. Uh, you're, you're kind of in that field now, so it's great to see. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about what you're doing now? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So I know when we connected back in the station days, you know, working at the music hall, I was uh, developing a brand um, mm -hmm. basically for entrepreneurs and students, and it was a supplement brand. So I entered a pitch competition that was hosted by the Cube at Lambton College, uh, and I ended up securing second place, and I, I was awarded some grant money to start up the brand. Um, and then what I was pitching was a, a supplement. Yeah, there I am there. Uh, yeah, so I was pitching a supplement that was designed to increase cognitive function. So really pushing the proponent that brain health can really kind of push your career forward, right? You got to take care of different things. A lot of people are focused on their physical health, but a lot of people neglect their mental health and their brain health. Mm -hmm. Was this always something that you wanted to do? Because uh, I remember you did something back in the day, like uh, this was something that you did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. was it like, was it always something that you kind of had in your mind that you wanted to do over time and uh, work towards? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the idea basically came to me is I was a college student. I was also a men's physique competitor at the time, working multiple jobs, including the... Yeah, I seen that. I didn't know that you did all that. Yeah, man. I, I had my hands in everything. I still do. Like nothing's yeah. changed there. But... Uh, yeah, so the idea of pushing forward, I, I like that you brought up the For the Hardworking Gamer, uh, and it was a concept that, like, adults are gamers, too. Like, I, I, it really bothers me when people push the notion that video games are childish and whatnot. Uh, there's a lot to be learned. A lot of uh, a lot of good things can come of it, uh, especially stimulating your brain. So I still play video games to this day. I'm 28 now. So, And there, there's actually a very large market of adult gamers out there. So I was really just kind of pushing that idea with a Twitch channel that I had. But that's long since died off. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of move towards uh, making a supplement and whatnot for yes. the brand. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's actually the finished product there. But you'll probably remember back in 2017, everything looked a lot different. Um, I was put, I, what I did is I had the branded product New Brain, uh, short for Nootropics. And Nootropics are the cognitive uh, boosting supplements that are in the market today. And so I went with New Brain, uh, kind of a shorter form of Nootropics. And I actually ran into a legal battle with a company out in Texas. Um, oh, wow. they put a patent in for that name and it was actually for their, their energy drink. And it, it looked like it was not shitting on these guys, but it was pretty garbage looking. So yeah, you, know what? you guys can have that. I'll, I'll reformulate. I'll figure something out. So, but, uh, yeah, so that's how we came here today now. And that's, uh, I created a uh, renew brain here. Yeah. yeah. So this is it here. It's a neurotropic supplement. It's full of great things in there that optimize the way you think optimize, optimizes the way your, your body functions so that way you can be at 120 percent whenever you need to be uh and it's a daily supplement you take two pills in a day usually with breakfast and like i took some before this interview today right yeah. it just keeps me sharp mm -hmm. um but there's other things to supplement as well uh, outside of just the the products that i have but like things like meditation good sleep proper diet exercise all that contributes as well mm -hmm. Does it contribute in uh, the job that you do now? Like, I see that you kind of branched off, too, with the four of the hardworking. You got into coffee as well? Yeah, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, so I was waiting on a lot of patents. I was waiting on a lot of uh, packaging details with for the hardworking as my manufacturer. So in the meantime, I was like, well, what what can I do to kind of tap into the same market um, as the, the market that I'm trying to push with the neurotropics, uh, which is like the hardworking individual, you know, whether you're in a student, you're, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you work at a, a business. So I was like, what do all these people have in common? And everyone drinks coffee. So, and I'm, I'm a big coffee lover myself. So I, uh, I linked up with a, a roaster in Windsor and we were doing branded for the hardworking coffees, uh, which led to a, gr a great partnership. Um, as a, I'm a military member right now, yeah. currently serving. And, uh, on my deployment, actually, someone reached out to me. His name's Andrew Go, and he is the creator of uh, Veterans and Everyday Heroes, uh, which is a great non-for-profit uh, veteran-owned uh, company that supports veterans. So what we did is we actually cross-promoted uh, a Veteran and Everyday Hero uh, coffee blend. Yeah, oh, you're beating me to these things, man. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, so we, we did a cross-branded coffee uh, and we did giveaways. You know, we, we sent some overseas for troops. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, we, we really did what we could. And Andrew and I are still working on many projects together right now. Um, with COVID, it's making things a little bit more difficult, but uh, our actual uh, partnership was developed online anyway. So we'll Let's make backpedal it. a little bit. You, you went to school here in Sarnia at Lambton. Uh, what did you go to school for? I did protection security investigations at Lambton College. Okay, so that was always something that you loved to do because that's what you did back in the station days. You were uh, a part of RPS. Were you a part of kind of starting that company in Sarnia? Yeah, so uh, Andy McDonald and Adam Legacy were two business partners of mine. Uh, yep, <laughs> where we we developed uh, Royal Protective Services. Uh, it, it was a, a thought child of Andy McDonald and Adam Legacy, and I kind of came in later uh, and helped out with things like the branding and a bit of the marketing and some of the operations side. Uh, and it, it was an incredible experience. And honestly, I, I attribute a lot to developing that company with them uh, mm -hmm. as to where I am today. I did learn quite a bit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, I mean, uh, I remember this was like uh, working in policing was always something was a goal of yours. Uh, is that what you're doing now with the military? Yep. So yeah. uh, right now with Canadian Armed Forces, I'm a military police member. So okay. I'm responsible for security and policing of the Canadian Armed Forces members uh, on Department of National Defense property. So it depends where wherever basically there's military property. That's where you'll see an MP. So okay. uh, that as well as deployed operations. That's amazing. How, how are you liking it so far? Uh, it's a great opportunity. So many knowledgeable people in the industry. Uh, I've had a good opportunity to work with in different fields. Uh, when I was on deployment, I got to work with uh, other nations, which was really awesome. Uh, I did some work with the Americans and stuff like that. I was that. just going to ask, so like from the station, where did you, did you go directly to there or were you doing something else? You went on deployment before? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a long story. So I was, uh, I was working at the station. Prior to that, I was at the Lazy Duck and the Stubborn Mule before it was the nation or the uh, station. Uh, so that was kind of like the intro into the security field. I worked mm -hmm. for other various companies such as Linden Security, uh, ISM in London, uh, and then we started Royal Protective Services. So I kind of always had my foot in the security industry. Um, but I actually left to go do wind turbine construction for about a year and a half, and uh, that was that was kind of something that pulled me away from it. So I, I redirected myself and uh, I put in an application with the Canadian Armed Forces. And then lo and behold, I was working as a military police member. Oh, wow. So you, this, when was this picture from? <laughs> that one? Um, that was when I was in my, uh, I was at my deployment in Kuwait. Uh, we were oh, flying wow. back at that point. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that was a really cool moment for me. Um, mm -hmm. It was very interesting to be involved in such a bigger picture, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I so my deployment was from November 2019 till July 2020. So I would have came back in the the previous summer of 2020. Okay, I want to I want to stay on track of the for the hard working. But my last question on this topic, like, what's your favorite part about that job? Would you say just because it is a really cool job, and I thank you for your service and everything you got, all of you guys do for us up there. Oh, thank you for your support. We always yeah. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, what what I my last like sentiment basically working uh, as an entrepreneur and owning my own business is that the products that I'm designing are really multifaceted. So in, mm -hmm. in a sense, like yes, I I have a full time career, but I also do this on the side. Um, and where do you find the energy to do things like this? And it, it's by taking care of your health. You know, uh, yeah. Back to that physical health, your mental health, your, your brain health. Um, so that's what I like is that I can. Be for the for the military for the military side i mean like that's that's what your favorite part of that job is oh for the military my favorite yeah, part of that yeah 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 yeah. like what would be what would be your favorite part of that job so far constant learning uh Con th there's always opportunities to mm -hmm. learn more about the field you're in uh the opportunity to work with other people uh and you, global um you know as you know i'm from sarnia ontario here i am in victoria bc in a yeah. couple of years used to say where I'm going to be at that time, uh, as well as the deployments. So great opportunities. That's awesome, man. I'm really glad to hear that you're taking all these opportunities and ha ha having a good time with it. Uh, at least I hope you are and everything. Um, let's go back to for the hardworking, because that's really what I wanted to have you on here for today. Um, when did you have this idea? Like, what, what was the like, what was the driving force that you're like, okay, I'm going to do this? Like, were you taking other supplements at the time? Because you said you're into the weightlifting and whatnot. And I know, like, there's a lot of supplements and whatnot that usually come into play when you're doing that sort of stuff. Uh, what was the what was the deciding factor for you that I'm gonna go after the for the hardworking? So 
basically it was how, how can I model what I'm doing as a lifestyle and how can I make this benefit other people? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I knew what worked for me and I, I wanted to find a way to really reach out to those people that are trying to go the extra mile. Um, in college, like I was telling you earlier, I was trying to have my hands in as much as possible and just really absorb everything I could. It, it was a good time in my life to really experience things and I wanted to have the maximum benefit. So I was taking things like neurotropics at the time. Um, I was taking things like GABA, L-theanine, uh, phosphatidylsterine, things like that. So I was taking all these ingredients. I was like, how can I package this into a product that people can use and is easy to easy to take? Basically. Right. So and you had a lot of personal experience knowing that this stuff worked. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Let's let's talk a little bit about this. Like, uh, was it your first ever pitch competition? It was actually, it was yeah. probably my first time dealing with public speaking outside the educational realm. Uh, Cause yeah. obviously in school and college, stuff like that, you will have, uh, you'll, you'll be open to that. However, it was a kind of a last minute thing. I remember a couple of weeks before the competition went up, I was walking through the mall actually at Lambton mall and they were handing out flyers and they said young entrepreneurs. And I was like, ah, all right, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah. I read about it and it was basically, if you have a concept, you have an idea, we want you to pitch it and then we'll give you the funding for it. And for me, that really made it real because at that point, it was just a concept. It was just an idea. But with the funding and with the support of the Cube and the support of fellow entrepreneurs, um, mm -hmm. actually, shout out to Stuart Manchi here. Uh, you know, he, he's been both a, a business partner and a client. There he is there. That's us with Sam Roberts. That's right. Yeah, I wanted to bring that up because I've seen you guys yeah. kind of, you guys have kept your connection and everything. And I, I think as we all have with Stu, uh, he was a really important part of all of our lives. I think at one point uh, helped us all yeah. out through through some crazy times and it, we there's some crazy stories with, with him as well um but yeah let's talk a little bit about uh just yeah his his involvement with it absolutely Stu uh Stu was one of those people that I noticed early on that uh that I liked being involved and mm. that was always seeking opportunity and I think he he recognized that and he said hey man like you, you got a thought for this you know you, you have a knack he's like let's let's build on that Mm -hmm. uh, he helped me a lot with some of the branding early on in the stages uh, back in 2017. And uh, I remember like we, we'd stick around at the station music hall after hours, you know, we just finished, you know, a, a nightclub night and we'd be in the office doing branding and doing, you know, mock-up pitches and things like that oh, yeah. to, to kind of really develop it. Yeah, for sure. And he, he's a very well-connected man. You know, he, he knows a lot of what he's doing uh, and I was happy to be a part of that with him uh due due to time and stuff like that and distance now we still keep in contact and he actually does uh he keeps an eye and helps out with things to this mm -hmm. day i see he just got some the other day yeah i sent yeah. him some samples yeah nice. well you know he was a part of the process in, in building this with me so mm -hmm. uh, he went off to you know pursue his own ventures which i totally understand and i i picked up and ran with it for sure what's 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 your like uh greatest feeling like looking at it from back then to what it is now like the, the finished product and everything like um going through obviously all you did like some hurdles and whatnot like me being an entrepreneur who who your entrepreneur who is like i've been through the hurdles and whatnot like legal stuff like what was yeah. all that like and coming to where you are now and like seeing the finished product and feeling accomplished well from start to finish from concept to product development to to launch it was close to four years you know it, it, it's been a long process but i've been lucky in the fact that i have my full-time career and that it was a side hustle at the time but yeah there's lots of hurdles man like i my biggest thing was dealing with branding changing names changing packaging uh legal requirements things like that and finding like a trustworthy manufacturer right because at the end of the day you're, you're taking a product that you're putting into your body you need to trust the people you work with in the manufacturing process, 100%. So we For had to sure. make sure everybody was certified and license uh, requirements were all up to date. Um, so that took a bit of time. And you know what, like my, my deployment being gone for, for close to seven months, uh, didn't really put a pin in it, but it allowed me to kind of work on the admin side of things. Right. So, but it definitely slowed the launch for sure. Yeah, but fair enough. Totally worth it. Yeah. So when did you, when did you fully launch? Fully launched, uh, I would have been early this year. It would have been, uh, well, sorry, probably like the summer of this year. Uh, okay, we just launched cool. about three months ago. Awesome. Uh, how, how have things been going so far? Automated. Uh, it's going fairly good, fairly yeah. good. Um, and, you know, like any any venture, you're going to run into hurdles that you didn't see. And for me, uh, you know, it's important to identify your weaknesses. And for me, it's marketing. 
So yeah. I'm great for, for branding, product development, concept, whatever. Uh, it's marketing where I lack. And it's because it, it's really a hands-on full-time position, as I'm sure you know, man. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys, you guys helped me out a lot of the, a lot of times back in the day with, uh, just being on the security side of things with me being a promoter and stuff. And, you know, just having last second, you, you guys even had some last second things thrown at you, but by me, like, uh, I'm sure you remember like the all ages shows and whatnot, like in the business of being an entrepreneur, you always got to be ready to, uh, jump over those hurdles. Yeah, you got to roll with the punches, man. And, you know, any advice of anybody that's at that that beginning stage, the planning is have the forethought to know that you will hit hurdles, but also it's not going to be end all be all. You know, you, you hit your first hurdle, you get over it, you hit your second hurdle, you get over it, and eventually just becomes a part of the day to day. Absolutely. You know, it really, it flexes that critical thinking. For sure. What's your plan for uh, 2021 here? We're 15 days in. What's the plan for, uh, for the hardworking in 2021? 2021, it's... Uh, to get everybody using my products basically yeah. and helping as many people as I can. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, I'd love to connect with you after and get a hold of some of this. Uh, I have a good friend who's a veteran. Uh, so I'd, I'd love to support in any way that I can. And uh, thank you so much for doing this. I don't want to take too much more of your time oh, today. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that. And actually I want to take a chance here and just kind of applaud you on what you've been doing here. I, I think it's really great. You know, during a time of pandemic and struggle and COVID, uh, you, you found a way to keep busy and to, you know, influence other people's lives right now, man. So keep it up. I appreciate it, man. I'm just trying to stay positive through, uh, you know, just these crazy times. Cause I think that's what, what we all have to do is stay positive and uh, be with each other. hundred percent, man. Stay positive. Thanks so much, Adam. I appreciate you joining me here today. Thank you, Aaron. Have a good one. You too, buddy. Bye. Bye. That was Adam Como joining me here on the Chem Valley Show for episode number 15. Uh, I'm going to be coming up with another episode here in another uh, about 10 minutes. Uh, Jeff Leeson will be joining me. Uh, he's a comedian. Uh, he's done shows all over Sarnia. He actually did a, a special at the uh, Station Music Hall, which we were just talking about uh, back, I want to say, in 2017. Uh, we're going to talk all about that um, and more on the show. Uh, so hope you tune in and uh, I'll have some other great guests later on tonight too. I'm doing uh, hopefully three to four interviews today. So uh, thanks so much for joining me and uh, have a wonderful day. All right. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Have a wonderful day.